Hi, this is Jerry from BlackSoldierFlyBlog.com and I'm here for a couple reasons today. Take a look at my um, breeding enclosure here. These are all adult black soldier flies who have um, emerged within the last few days. I don't know. Really, uh, I haven't, don't have any idea how many there are here, but say at least 2,000, but uh, I'm not going to begin to try and count them. So anyway, I wanted to also, besides sharing just uh, the progress with the uh, pupation and the emerging of the adults, um, I also wanted to share my lunch here with, uh, with the black soldier flies. So um, I'm not sure, I've heard black soldier flies don't eat, but I, I wanted to offer them a few things. So I've got fruit salad, a, uh, a sub sandwich, some Greek style yogurt with fruit, some raspberry tea, and a chocolate mousse. So I'm thinking that some number of these flies uh, certainly will want to come and eat some of my food or perhaps even land on me. I mean, I am in a small enclosure with a few thousand flies. Obviously, I'm being a bit facetious because I know, and myself and many others have been stating for several years, that black soldier flies don't pester humans. They don't want to eat our food. They can't eat our food. They drink. So they drink water, perhaps some flower nectar. But in their very short lifespan of, of uh, seven to nine days, roughly, they don't eat. They just have one purpose, really, and that is to mate and lay eggs. So, and this is a key factor in why black soldier flies are not vectors of human diseases, because uh, they don't travel from food to waste, and then you know, to back to human food after visiting some waste and, and transmitting pathogens and disease that way. So, again, there's the buffet. Lots of flies in this little room. Actually, it's, it'll be nice to eat in here because if I go outside the screen enclosure, there are, there are house flies, and, uh, and they will pester me and land on my food. So, I'm just going to eat in here so that I can have some peace and not be pestered by uh, flies. Just figured I'd leave the camera here for a while so you can see that uh, they've got plenty of time. Now it's possible a fly could land on there, a black soldier fly could land on there, because, well, they've got to sit somewhere. So, but their purpose is not to eat that food or to pester humans at all. If you're curious to learn more about black soldier flies and cultivating the larvae, please come and visit us at blacksoldierflyblog.com or blacksoldierflyblog.com slash forum if you have any questions or want to contribute.